Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for returning. I first would just like to say happy October to everyone and I hope this month turns out great for all of us. In today's video, I will be going over my first paycheck for the month of October when it comes to my side income, which is Uber Eats. We are going to budget out the money, give every dollar a place, and then get into some cash envelope stuffing like we always do. If you are new here, this channel focuses on all things budgeting and I am using the cash envelope system to help me in taking control of my finances. I'm currently working on paying off my debt and this system has just helped me out so much. So I wanted to share my journey to one, hold myself accountable and two, hope to inspire others along the way. So definitely if you're into that kind of stuff and you would like to see more, do not forget to go down below, hit that subscribe button to join our family and hit the bell so that you never miss another video also I did not get to mention it in my last video because I had already filmed the video and we already hit the milestone but we recently hit 1,000 subscribers on this channel and honestly guys all I can say is thank you thank you Thank you. Like, I truly appreciate each and every person that has hit subscribe, or left a comment, or liked any of my videos. YouTube is something that I did want to do for a while, and one day I just finally mustered up the courage and I hit record, and I am just so glad I did. So, thank you guys for joining the family, and I hope you guys stick around and enjoy watching these videos just as much as I enjoy making them for you. All right, so with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get into budgeting out this paycheck. So here we are at my handwritten budget that I always do. To start this off, for my first paycheck for the month of October, within Uber I was able to make $402. So that is what I will put up there. Now, if you know, I always take out my taxes first. So I will put 402 and I always do 30%. So 30% of that is $121. So that is what we will put into taxes. So when we do 402 minus 121, we are left with $281 for remaining. Next thing that I focus on are my expenses. And for my gas, I just like to keep $50 a week. So in order to get me back to $50, I am going to put $35 in for gas. 281 minus 35, we are left with $246 that I do within my sinking funds and then anything left over I put into debt snowball. I do have a little asterisk here for eating out because next week is my best friend's birthday and just in case we do eat out, I want to have a little bit of money for her so that's why I put that there. But first let us um, get into my sinking funds. So for car maintenance, I am going to put $30, so minus 30. Christmas will get 20 Gifts is going to get 10. Medical will also get 10. And vacation is getting 30. So now I'm left with $146. And I'm going to do $100. I'm gonna put that straight into my debt snowball. So minus 100. And then this 46 that's remaining, I will put that into eating out. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So that looks good. So now that I wrote down all of the numbers, the next thing that I do is go to the bank, get the cash, and then when I get back, we'll go ahead and stuff some envelopes. All right guys, so I have returned from the bank and that means that we can go ahead, take out the money and lay it out so we can go ahead and get started. All 
right, so now that we are all set up, let's go ahead and get right into it. First thing that we are going to deal with is taxes. And taxes I keep in the back. And I did empty it out and put what we had at the end of last month into the bank. So that is why it is empty. But today we will be adding $121. So that's 120 and 21. So we can go ahead and put that right in here. All right, moving on next, we have gas. So I'm just going to put the binder to the side for a second and bring out my wallet. And that is where I keep my gas envelope. So we said we are adding 35 so that is what I will do we have 20 30 35 and with this in here we should now have 50 so that is 20 30 40 45 and 50 so that is good Put that right back in here and put this aside to put in the wallet and also since my wallet is here I'm just going to take out eating out because I keep that in my wallet so that was $46 so that's 20 40 45 and 46 and I'll just put this aside into my wallet Okay, so now we can get back into our sinking funds. So first up we have car maintenance. And I am going to challenge myself this month and count my sinking funds each time I stuff them just to see how that works out. So let me know down in the comments if that is something that you guys will prefer. I did have one person tell me that, but if more people actually want me to sit and count the envelopes, then that is what I will do. But for apartment, we know that this has been fully funded for the year, so I will not be doing that. Annual subscriptions has also been fully funded, so now we're at car maintenance. And I will be adding $30. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you would see on my Instagram story that I had a flat tire. So I already had to dip into car maintenance for this month, which is crazy. So what I had originally within this envelope is $80, and now we are adding 30, so we should have 110. But I tell you, when I saw that flat tire, I was just like, I can't win with car maintenance, but you know, it's whatever. So we should have 110. So we have 50, 70, 90, 100, and 110. So that is what we're working with. I tried to set a goal this month to try and keep at least $250 within car maintenance. So we'll see if that's achievable. Moving on next is Christmas. Christmas is getting 20. We have $220 in here, so now we should have 240. And I did exchange the 20s for some hundreds so that it's not as much money in here. So we have 100, 200, 220, and 240. So that is correct. And we will go ahead and put that right back in here. Next is gifts. Gifts is getting $10. And I did finalize all of the gifts for my best friend's birthday. So she is set and ready to go. So now I had $36 in gifts. And now we're adding $10, so we should have 46. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, and 46. And I should be good for gifts until the end of the year because the next birthday for somebody that I actually buy gifts for is for my father. And that's not until February, so I should be good. Right now it's all about Christmas. Um, moving on from gifts we have medical that is also getting ten dollars it currently has 148 so adding the 10 we should have 150 
58 now. So that is 100, 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. 158, so that is correct. After medical is vacation, and that is getting 30. So this 20 and the 10 will make our 30. And vacation has $200 in it, which is so nice. So now when we add this 30, we should now have $230. So that is 50, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 210, 220, and 230. 230 dollars for vacation put that in here and then lastly is this 100 dollars that is going towards our debt snowball for the month which is amazing always love it when i can put a good amount towards my debt snowball so we already had 37 dollars from the last time we did our cash envelope stuffing and adding 100 should bring us to 137. So 100, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37. All right, and we will continue to stuff this until the end of the month to see how much we can do for a debt snowball payment. But as of now, that is great. But that is it. That is all I have for my side income paycheck for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. As I always say, please do not forget to like the video and comment down below because it always supports the channel and I love interacting with you guys. If you have not done so, do not forget to subscribe to join the family. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time in my next video. Bye guys.